Hey Libra, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings. Take what works, leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. If I don't catch your energy signature or wavelength on this reading, go ahead and check your other major placements if you want. Um, I'm, I really missed my Oracle deck, so I'm doing Oracle decks on this YouTube reading. And then there'll be an extended on Vimeo with the link down below. And I'll do a more traditional tarot spread over there. So I just missed them. We're going to start with this deck right now. There's different messages that come out with each oracle deck and, you know, the structure of the tarot deck and the, you know, traditional meanings of the tarot cards. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? I'm trying to be nice. I love you. Why would you betray me like that? We've got to put all of those back because that was 10 cards. And... Okay, I'll take one. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, Libra, huh, fun, real fun. Good times here. Uh, okay. Well, this was the most obvious one that came out, fell on the floor. Um, stranded, feeling a little abandoned, maybe ghosted. Um, maybe having embarked on something before you were quite ready for it. Uh, so this is a big ship. This is a young guy. A young little apprentice here took off on this big ship was very eager to get going very excited wanted to show what he could do wanted to show the world wanted to uh i'm hearing like show show their daddy what they could do that they were they were a big kid now um and something happened uh that was outside of their control they didn't have a say in it and it uh, left them high and dry uh they're just kind of stuck here and um the pride has been wounded. The pride has been wounded. And this guy, he can get out of um, the situation, but but I don't think the ship's moving anywhere. We got to cut our losses here. Uh, this ship's not going anywhere. So, uh, so there was something very exciting, very fun that wanted to be accomplished uh, that you wanted to do. Um, but there's a sense of, wow, things did not work out. That did not go according to plan. That who having to cut something loose, uh, free yourself from something this stranded. I mean, this vision, this idea, um, I mean, you can stay attached to it, but you're that you won't be doing anything else with your life. You'll just be standing there. So, um, there's a sense of needing to the, just something happened and you're just left kind of holding the bag of like, what? How did that happen? You know, um, it's not, on the one hand, I mean, who knows if someone more experienced or wiser, smarter, less eager <laughs> um, would have handled this very differently um, and, and could have avoided the situation or, um, or, if, or yeah, could have, or if, if this was inevitable. But anyway, it's left you kind of high and dry and out of your element and kind of a big catastrophe. And there might be um, something that gets left behind. Most of all, your pride. Most of all, your pride. We've had a dark ride here, a night ride. Um, so here we have sort of this, uh, not quite sure where we're going here. I mean, you, you were sure at one point, you were very sure where you, at one point. And here we're, we're on a journey, but it's not really clear. Uh, this, this owl here has some really nice clear vision. There's a protective vibe here. There's like a trio of protection, like this whole, these people or these, these entities are protecting. So, and then there's also this spiritual protection around this sort of going through some sort of unknown territory the swamp the the elephant is strong but has exactly zero night vision so the elephant is strong has a great memory moves for is moving able to move forward this one maybe needs to protect something right here so they're not flying they're certainly not flying solo through this swamp uh, but they do have the vision they have the overall idea of where this is all going so there's a, like a teaming up process like a um, like, like this was a setting off to accomplish something. Whoops, that didn't go well. But now we maybe have a team. Like this was a little bit solo. Like I'm off on my own, going to do my own thing here. Um, and that's, that's, 
that's not working. Um, you're going to need to go back to the drawing board here and, and either learn something else. Yeah, you got to learn something else here. Uh, learn some better navigation skills. Um, and this is sort of navigating something that is unclear um, what, what, how to make it through, but it's like together we can make it through this solo thing was sort of like, um, all right, well now what? I'm just kind of stuck here. This has movement, but it's, it's, it's needing that teamwork and there is teamwork and there is protection and there's mutual protection and there's sort of mutual, um, like this little guy doesn't, isn't adding anything, but this elephant and this owl are moving forward uh, step by step here through some sort of dark swampy area. We have the white rose of hope. Very hopeful that um, very, it's kind of a private, I'm like, what? it's a private secret hope. It's a hope. They're very hopeful that, that we're going to get somewhere. We're going to get out of this sort of weird spot, this sort of uh, stuck spot. We're going to free ourselves from the stuck spot. We might need some help doing it. Um, there is protection. There is help. And we are definitely protecting a, um, a hope, a dream, a wish, right? So this is getting sacrificed so that this can go on. So maybe this isn't you. Maybe this is the hope and the wish. Like, okay, well, let's that's not going to happen. So let's preserve this. At least we can preserve this life. We can preserve this, uh, child. And there are two the, in a very child free deck. There are two young people here. There's a, there's, there's this young baby owl needing protection and there's this other. So maybe this, this isn't you. Uh, maybe there is a sense of needing protection here. Some, something that needs protection, something who's someone whose pride is wounded here. Uh, there, there's something, there was a big plan. It didn't go according to plan. That's what we know is stranded. It didn't go according to plan. And you were left a little bit high and dry or somebody's been left a little high and dry. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's someone else here. This someone needs protection and there's sort of two entities coming together to kind of, um, move something forward, moving maybe towards this hope, this dream, this hope, but there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of unclarity. It's foggy. It's a swamp. Not only is the path not clear, the air is not clear. We've got one person that can see one person, one, one, someone with the vision, maybe someone with the hope and the overall vision. Um, but both are wise, both are smart. The owl and the, and the owl and the elephant are both, um, both pretty smart animals. And the elephant's got the memory. The owl's got the vision. The elephant has the strength. This owl, owl would normally be flying solo, but right now they're taking care of something, someone. There's a sense of protection with both. Like we're both protecting this hope and, and there's a sense of protection surrounds this trio or this, this little grouping or this pairing. And maybe you, you, maybe there's still some hope for this ship up here. And then we have the gardener. So this would be a little bit of advice. I mean, so the advice from these cards, it's like stuff that's always kind of true, but this is being highlighted for you. The gardener is about taking care of yourself and being able to bring that best, healthiest self into the community. So as we care for ourselves, as we care for our inner landscape, as we care for uh, making sure that we're um, paying attention to the things we need to be paying attention to. And that might have happened a little bit here. Um, not paying attention to the things that we're needed to be paying attention to. But as, we, as we're paying attention to ourselves, this and creating a healthier self and a healthier um, dynamic, this means that what we bring to our community, to our workspaces, to our relationships, what we bring to our relationships is healthier overall. So like this elephant may not have may not have any night vision and that's just the way the elephant is they just don't have night vision but can this elephant like take care of the gifts and the skills that it does have it does have um you know strength it does have 
you know, and it needs to be being as healthy as possible. Um, it does have strength. It does have memory. You know, this owl maybe isn't in a, in a position right now to really be able to soar and fly through this foggy swamp. They need to be doing something else. They're taking care of someone else. So this owl, um, is bringing though their vision to the, the, the situation, their best vision. So it's not going to do, I mean, already we have sort of these, these, these entities here that don't have the complete picture that don't have everything that's needed for this journey, for this trip. There's, there's a sense of an incomplete picture, but what picture they do have, what, what vision they do have, what skills they do have, they need to be taking care of those so that they can bring those skills into the team, into the, um, into the connection or the community, um, and, the, and they, they need to be taking care of their skills. So the gardener to me also talks about sort of like, like community gardens where, um, where maybe someone's really good at growing carrots and another person's really good at growing beets. So rather than like me, you know, let's say I'm good at growing carrots, Let, rather than me, like grow a bunch of good carrots or well, I'm focused on trying to grow these beets. I'm really bad at growing beets. So the beets are taking up a lot of energy in the now. What I bring to the swap at the end of season swap is some crappy carrots and some crappy beets. Whereas, you know, whereas it, so it's, it's really doing your part of being part of the team here. Long way of saying, uh, making sure that, 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 so you only are part of a team. You're not the whole team. You're part of a team and making sure that what part you bring, you're bringing your best, your healthiest. And you're not also, you know, let the beat person specialize in beats. Let the visionary specialize in vision. Let the uh, person with a good memory specialize in the good memory. Like, like everyone's got a part to play here. And if they all play their part um, and if they're all taking care of their own skills and, and what they already have and what they already can do and their own skill sets. If they're taking care of that, then, you know, when we bring it all together for the community salad, um, it's delicious and amazing because everyone brought delicious and amazing things. So there's a little bit of, um, knowing your skill set and being committed to building it and growing it, being committed to your own personal growth and understanding that that adds to the group work to the teamwork so um so taking responsibility for your roles for your skills and developing those and not necessarily needing to i mean sometimes we have to stretch sometimes we have to go learn i mean we are we do have to learn some other things here but maybe someone else has that to teach us and maybe we don't have to like just figure that out on our own like this person needs a needs a teacher they need some they need they need to go back to class and relearn some sailing techniques here um so so there's a sense of of um knowing what you're good at and and there's a sense of maintaining yourself and making sure the group the group can benefit from that maintain, maintaining of yourself really all right and our crows are talking here okay okay this is fascinating okay we have survival here so this is um this is actually reminding me of uh the stranded card here in a way i don't know um how i'm gonna be able to describe that but it's a similar being stuck somewhere being trapped somewhere and here you need sort of a team to help. You need a partnership to kind of help you get out of this stuck situation. Here, survival. Okay, this crow's surviving. Okay, that's good. This crow's surviving. That's great. But this crow is not thriving. This crow is not thriving and it feels like a big risk. It feels like quite a risk to, to make any kind of move. There's a standoff here. Uh, the crow is, is worried, is afraid, is afraid to move, and, and they can they can get the job of survival done. They can get it done, but there, it requires being trapped, being stuck. And this just reminds me of, um, you know, all of the quotes and all of the whole idea of, uh, you know, the, just life being very unsafe. I was, I was reading about, what was her name? Like Sophie Scholl. She was in Germany. She was a teenager. She stood up against the Nazis. And um, one, one of the things she was saying, she said was, um, 
you know, death comes to all of us. So why are you hiding? Why would you just hide? And why wouldn't you confront this situation head on? Because, um, yeah, she was executed and she was like, yeah, I'm dying. Yeah, I'm being executed, but everyone dies. So hiding and playing small and, and making sure the boogeyman doesn't see you isn't going to be of any benefit to you whatsoever. So this is about, uh, survival, having you sort of hunkered down and hiding and playing small when life is meant to be lived and, and thrived. So this has you sort of in a, and, and it's not, it's understandable that you'd want to be in this position for a while, right? Just kind of, okay. And if you're in this position to sort of think, figure out what to do next, if you're sort of stuck in this position, um, as you figure out and problem solve, that's one thing. But if you're here and you're like, and now I die here in this small place in this, on this tiny little island in the sky just because um, I don't know what risks to take. I don't want to lose this thing. I don't want to lose what I already have. So I don't want to lose the boat. Um, so I just have to stay here forever. Um, so there's a sense of, you know, feeling stuck and being stuck um, and in a, in a place of survival mode, not thrival mode, right? Um, we can see why though you are in this survival mode. We have trickery and displacement. So you've been tricked in the past and you think it's a trick again. That's how I see that. You've, you've had this bad experience. Okay. You had this bad experience is stranded, left high and dry. Um, had to abandon ship and leave a bunch of stuff behind. That has put you in some sort of survival mode. You've been tricked before. There's been trickery. There's been lies, obfuscations. There's been something that hasn't, hasn't been fair. Um, or not, it's not necessarily about fairness. It's just about having been tricked, having been, you know, this, this survival mode is a, a little bit of like fool me once life shame on you fool me twice shame on me which is silly because we have to retrust again right that's not gonna be functional to just be like i got hurt once and so now i never want to be the fool um and so there's there's this displaced mistrust you might be um realizing that in the past you were tricked and maybe you even fooled yourself uh so there's a displaced mistrust here um Somebody tricked, so there, some trick has gone on and now you're cautious of everything. Um, you're frustrated. You might take fresh, someone might be, you might take, yeah, that's the message. Um, I'm, I keep trying to like see something else, but no, you were tricked and, and now uh, you have this displaced suspicion. Very suspicious of something that maybe doesn't deserve your suspicion, did nothing to earn your suspicion, but there is suspicion here. You are protected. What? I don't understand what to do with this. Okay, we'll take the ones that are up right here. All right, luck is on your side. Okay, good, good, good. I like this. We have the night ride. We have some protection. We have so something that felt very unlucky might actually be actually for your benefit um because luck is on your side always reminds me that you know we don't always know and this is a new moon energy so we don't know we don't we we just don't know anything about the situation but um it has a lot of potential to be for our benefit but we're sort of stuck in this survival mode and being suspicious of everybody and everything um we're suspicious of something else because we were tricked before and this has us in sort of a hunkered down survival mode but luck is on our side. I also see the possibility here that this, this looks very unlucky, but what it might, might do is force this person into, this looks very unfortunate, but it might force this person, you know, back to class, back to get a mentor, to, you know, a loss like this, a big loss like this is definitely going to have this person uh, rethinking how they do things. This is a huge, massive, expensive learning experience. Um, and it looks very unlucky, but this is saying that there might actually be something that you learn from that, that prevents like an even bigger, worse experience or something like that. Like where it's actually, however awful that was and, and however difficult that was, um, it might actually end up being for your benefit. 
So to consider that at least and consider that you're you're protected. You may not have the vision, but you may be protected by if not other people, at least spiritually, uh, there's a sense of there is a vision here. And you may just feel like you're kind of plodding through the dark and not knowing where to go. But there is with the gardener here, I am seeing teamwork too. a new start is coming. So new moon. OK, so another opportunity, another chance you're going to be given like a new boat or something like that. You get you get another chance to to do something here. I think you're very suspicious of this new start, though. Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. Again, I'm seeing like a soul. It would be a soul retrieval from this situation where there was trickery. Um, but calling back your power, your power to choose uh, what situations to trust, choose who to trust, choose your power of choice here, your power of decision making. And it has to do with this new start. There's just a lot of being in the dark here. There's a time for healing balsamic moon. So getting over, getting over this healing. And then we have a win-win outcome is forecast full moon and Libra. You have basically two of the best cards in this deck. So there's a mutually, there's a mutually beneficial arrangement, but um, you are healing and regaining power from this situation where you were high and dry and tricked and um and now very suspicious and not able to really like Im not not really thriving so you're getting a new start you're still healing and regaining power from this this last sort of fiasco here luck is on your side and a win-win outcome is forecast this does look like really cool teamwork here well, something that you you wanted and hoped for and wished for you still have to be uh caring for yourself and and bringing playing your your part as best as you can um but there's there's a lot of good stuff here coming in so all right libra um that was that had some you know a hinky little beginning there but we moved someplace pretty cool with that. So I'm going to be doing a more traditional tarot spread over on Vimeo. If you'd like to join me over there. Um, if not, if I leave you here, that's cool. See you guys in a couple weeks.